All right, Overland Trail Adventures, we have a treat for you. We've got the full force of the Blue Eddy system out here in the sun. <laughs> and uh, Brian and I have been checking this out. Take a look. All right, each one of these uh, panels are 200 watts. And these five panels are in series. So we've got a thousand theoretical watts all wired in series and they are feeding into the MPPT controller that's inside of the Blue Eddy AC200. And we've also got a Meepo Hurricane skateboard charging here and the Sondor's MSX charging there off of the Blue Eddy solar generator. And they're pulling, let's see, about 500 and 20 watts and input is 714 right now so we're putting in more than we're taking out and then over here I've got the Blue Eddy AC 50s so this is the little one and it is also plugged into a single 200 watt Blue Eddy panel and this is getting about 122 watts and I'm using the MPPT controller that you can it converts it down to the uh, to the jack size here for the back of the Blue Eddy uh, AC50S I think that's a 8 inch or 8 millimeter jack okay and these are the um, Blue Eddy panels that have the sun power cells and these are the newer ones that um, they came out with so you can shade part of the panel and it will still work rather than knocking out the whole panel if it gets shade so these are just absolutely fantastic i've been waiting to use them in the field and play with this like this <laughs> basically build a solar farm for unlimited power and it is not disappointing the other cool thing that i can do is i can use the MPPT controller that's plugged into the AC50S and I can plug it into the big Blue Eddy uh, AC200 and this is the older one this isn't the one with the uh, it isn't the P or the new one this is the original uh, AC50 I'm sorry AC200 uh, it's not the AC200P I think it's the other one so anyway cool so if you have e-toys and this setup <laughs> You have infinite power if the sun's out and we are in San Francisco uh, on the bay and we've been camping out here and we're just playing with our toys. Actually our uh, hurricane ran out of juice and uh, Sondors ran out of juice on our ride so we're coming back to test how this would work. Okay so mounted on the uh, Go Fast Camper Superlight tent is a rich solar 160 watt SIG panel. SIG panels were developed by the or for the military, so they're very durable. It's a different technology than the cells, so this is uh, very robust. And it came with the very high bond sticky back tape already on the panel, so you just basically peel and stick. And so what I did with the surface of this uh, to get it prepped was just cleaned it really good with like um, window cleaner, uh, and then I also went over it with uh, rubbing alcohol. And then I put some of the 3M uh, accelerant, the bonding accelerant, uh, adhesion promoter, I think is what it's actually called. And then you just peel and stick this guy, and then you want to probably lay some heavy objects on top to make sure it sticks and do it on a warm day, not a cold day. And voila, I've got a solar panel on top. And then I'll show you in the Jeep where that comes in. So the solar cable cabling uh, comes here, and when I have the the camper top moved forward. I've got the Jeep top open right now, so it's kind of moved back. But uh, I've just got it braided cable, and then down here, you just, I love Jeep. You can just feed it into the soft top uh, back window, and then behind the seat in here, it comes in behind the seat, and I'll show you what's behind the seat real quick. So it comes in from the back window, and if I had a hard top on here, I could uh, drill a port in there and water seal it and all that sort of thing so anyway i've got a victron mppt controller that fits perfectly back here this is the 
Victron uh, 130. That's plenty. It's actually overkill, but I plan to uh, plug in other solar panels like my Blue Eddy panels if I need to. This is just sort of my all the time. And it has Bluetooth, so you can access the Victron app on your phone and see what it's doing. And then I just took the solar cabling. You can see it a little bit right here, but then it just ducks underneath the plastic. And I just worked it uh, under the door rail plastic all the way here. And then you probably can't even see it, but up in there, there's a, a rubber hole so you can pass stuff through the firewall. And so that's what I did there to get the solar cabling that way. And I'm on the driver's side, so you can see the solar cabling coming up and over. I just zip tied it across. And then it comes in and I have a uh, the Genesis dual battery set up. So then I have the red lead positive for the solar controller connected here and the negative lead, po the negative lead uh, connected right here. And so it's gonna charge both batteries uh, when the solar is working. And the other thing I did, this is important, is I did put a waterproof uh, 25 amp fuse right here that's switchable so I can push this button and disconnect the solar controller because it does draw a little power so when it's parked I can disconnect it so it's not working but it is working and so I've got a 25 amp fuse uh, right there. <laughs> Just gotta love Jeep. There's so much room to put all this stuff in here. What was that guy doing? Dog just ran by. Didn't even say hi.